So you might think it's too early to talk about One UI 8, especially when most Samsung devices haven't even received One UI 7 yet. But surprise, a Galaxy S25 Ultra running Android 16 with One UI 8 has already been spotted, meaning the launch is way closer than expected. Here's what you need to know about One UI 8 on Android 16. What's up guys, Sal here. So first off, Samsung is skipping One UI 7.1 entirely. Usually they drop a point one update with their foldables, but not this time. Why? Because Google is rolling out Android 16 earlier than usual in May or June. So instead of wasting time on a minor update, Samsung is jumping straight to One UI 8. Expect the One UI 8 beta on the S25 Ultra around June or July with a stable release likely debuting alongside the Z Fold 7. Now, before we dive into Android 16 features, here's a highly requested change coming to the now bar on the Galaxy S25 lineup with the next software update. A pill-shaped interactive media player button in the status bar. It was in the One UI 7 beta but didn't make it to the stable version for some reason, but that will change with the next update. Oh, and Samsung is also fixing that annoying charging animation glitch with this update. Now, let's talk features. First up, Android 16 introduces PC-like external display management. If you view Samsung tablets, you might be familiar with the second screen feature, which lets you turn your tablet into an extra display for your PC. Well, now smartphones get the same treatment. And that's not all. Google is adding true PC-style display alignment letting you position your phone's screen relative to your monitor. Since Samsung already offers second screen on their tablets, expect this feature to see on their phones as well with One UI 8. Next, Samsung has made huge improvements in animation smoothness with One UI 7, refining transitions, gestures, and overall UI fluidity. Now, One UI 8 takes it a step further with decal shader animation. While the exact implementation is still under wraps, this video will give you an idea of what to expect. Imagine unlocking your phone and instead of a simple fade in, your wallpaper has a cool wave-like shimmer effect. That's the kind of dynamic, fluid animation the calculator could bring to the One UI 8. And it's not just about unlocking animations, decal shader effects will be applied across the entire system, making transitions, gestures, and UI elements feel more dynamic and lifelike. Android 16 is finally bringing justice to dark mode lovers. You can now force all apps to go dark even if they don't support it. So no more getting blinded at 2am just because one app refuses to join the dark side. Whether it's a messaging app, a shopping app, or that one ancient app that hasn't been updated since 2015, Android 16 will drag it into the darkness whether it likes it or not. And speaking of brightness, Google is testing an even dimmer display brightness option for Android, which drops screen brightness even lower than usual, which is perfect for those late night scrolling sessions when even the lowest settings feels too bright. Android 16 also introduces true HDR screenshot support. Right now, when you take a screenshot, it saves in SDR, dulling the colors. But with Android 16, screenshots will preserve HDR quality, and when viewed on a compatible device, your screen will automatically adjust brightness to make highlights pop. Lock screen widgets are getting a major upgrade. Samsung has allowed widgets on their lock screen for a while, but only for their own apps. With One UI 8, third-party widgets will finally be supported, giving you more customization options. Adaptive refresh rate is also improving. You already know how it works. It adjusts your screen's refresh rate based on what you're doing to save battery. Now with Android 16, Google is adding new tools for developers to optimize this even further. So expect even better power efficiency and responsiveness in future apps. It's also worth noting that Android 16 is borrowing a couple of features from One UI 7. One of them is the Now Bar, which Google is rebranding as Live Updates. Basically, their version of iOS's Live Activities. But credit where it's due, they're making it a bit better. Basically, it's a dynamic progress bar that updates in real time as your cab or food order gets closer. Samsung's Now Bar didn't support this, but with One UI 8, hopefully that will change. And speaking of borrowed features, Google's also adopting something Samsung previously borrowed from Apple, the Split Notification and Quick Settings panel. 
personally i'm not a fan of this setup so i turned it off on my s25 ultra but hey if you like it it's there a few more additions worth mentioning notification cooldown if an app spams you with notifications android 16 gradually lowers their volume and minimizes alerts over two minutes important alerts like calls or alarms remain unaffected with android 16 google is also stepping up scam protection now if you're on a call you won't be able to enable certain settings like sideloading apps or granting accessibility access, a common trick scammers use to hijack phones. Android 16 also finally lets you check battery health percentage. Samsung enabled this for some users in One UI 7, but it wasn't universal. Hopefully, One UI 8 makes it available for everyone. So those are some of the biggest features coming to Android 16 and One UI 8. Do know that not all of these are guaranteed to make it to Samsung's version, but history shows that Samsung usually adds even more on top of Google's stock Android updates. I'll keep you posted when more details emerge. In the meantime, check out what Samsung is bringing back with the S26 Ultra. Click here to watch the full video and I'll see you there.